M0 FXP Quantum SDR firmware update. So you get the little debug pins and you see them there. You take the one off that's there and put it there. I'm just zooming it in right close so you can see it. I got this information from Quantum. So it's connected. When you get the download from Quantum, you've got full instructions here. Definitely read through them all. Yeah, I'm just doing the basics here. So I've downloaded from a link that they provide, which is in the description. And then you must extract that folder to your C drive. If you look here, local C. So when you click extract, select C drive, which I've done. So everything's here. So now we've plugged the other end into our PC. Okay, which is done. We're going to double click here and we get this message. Now there is information here um, about opening your firewall ETC, but I'm hoping that mine's all fine. So then we just go move that so you can see it open. Yes, now at this point you it asks you for your code. So you get this, you, you email Quantum, I'll put the email address in the description and you put this short code here which is just to allow the firmware to load so i'm going to put mine in and press enter so then you need to choose the version you've got and and the quantum will tell you mine is version they told me mine is version three so i'm going to hit three then enter make sure we get make sure i click it up next the thing three enter there you are and it says go ahead and then enter and if it's correct you have to press enter twice it will run this you won't get any errors and you'll have some nice green text uh yeah it looks like it's working verifying data allowing two minutes so that's gone in but we're not done yet because you do actually have to activate this and to do that we're going to have to calibrate the screen okay now this bit is super important if you don't do this correctly it won't it will not boot up correctly so you plug it in and you want to reset as soon as you see the big red dot it's the second circle that comes up keep your device see my little poker keep it on the screen don't let go until you see full reset keep it on until it now says touch screen to calibrate touch the point and then you're going to touch and try and just keep it on there until it says wait and then you move to the next point and you want it in yellow wait quite bright yellow and here and here now when it gets us to write, we've got one more in the middle. We want to write. We want to see our writing now. If that's not like mine isn't accurate, you have to do it again. So let's do it again. So we're going to unplug it, plug it in. Hold on the red dot, the second red dot. Keep your finger on it. Touch screen to reset. And then you want it has to stay full reset. Touch screen to calibrate like so. And then touch to start. So we're going to touch here. It goes yellow writing. Touch here. You want yellow writing. I'm using a pen because it's a bit sharper point. Yellow writing. And here. And then in the middle. Here. Then it gets you to, you're allowed to write now. Okay. So look, if this writing isn't right, and if it's not showing in the corners, do it again. I feel like this will be better. So we can now back out. Okay. And then it's going to ask us to activate. You get the code that was sent to you by Quantum. So we're going to tap here, tap here, <laughs> get my code in there. You hit enter and it reboots. And if you've got everything right, when it reboots, you will see everything as you did before with your new features. There you go. And that's it. Enjoy your newly updated Quantum SDR, Quantum Spectrum SDR. Thanks to the the team from Quantum for, for the updates. Bye for now, looking forward to the new generation that's coming soon.